Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today is Friday morning, so I usually work Friday mornings, but uh, today I have some track and field, obviously track and field. Oh, it'd be weird if I had soccer or something. So today on the schedule, I have some long jump and some discus. Uh, but my elbow's been a little bit sore, so I had physio yesterday and they recommended just um, taking it easy because I want to throw discus on Sunday in that little field series meet. So I might not throw discus today, um, just to let the arm kind of rest and then um, throw on Sunday if it feels better. Just heading to the track now. Um, I can tell you what the work that is when I get there because I'm not exactly sure what it is and yeah just another gloomy gloomy day in London Ontario so yeah but I had a good sleep that's good and yeah so let's get her going Just walking over to long jump now. Uh, so the workout is, um, everything is from 10 strides. So I'm gonna do two just takeoffs and then two takeoffs with like a switch, like a half hitch. And then four to five full jumps. And then, yeah, I'm not throwing discus and I might do speed endurance after. Um, it's either do it right after or come back at 4.30 and do it, but I don't really wanna come all the way back here to do just like two runs so see how I feel after this so today the focus is I'm gonna try to have a quick um, switch at takeoff that's how I think of it um, I'll throw a clip in of Luvo Mayanga I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name but his first name is Luvo He's, from, he's a South African long jumper. Um, I actually competed against him at World Juniors. He won, I came third. Um, some Spain guy came second. Um, but he is like really, really good technique at the board. He's like very like tall at the board. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. Just like a really good switch. And yeah, it's like, I kind of feel it somewhat sprinkling, but I don't know what the weather's like. Hopefully it doesn't rain, because then I'm going to have to put this away and cover my bag and it just becomes a whole thing, so. My shoes recently ripped. No! So I use these shoes for pole vault and long jump, so it's unfortunate. Uh, Damien said he's got an extra pair, so he's gonna throw me a pair of his shoes. So thank you again. Every single pair of shoes that I have, other than my running shoes, are from Damien. So, if you're watching this, thanks for all the shoes. It means a lot. slow um so the two jumps felt pretty good but it hurts to like land on my arm because my elbow's still kind of bothering me for like my forearm tricep area so we're just gonna switch it to two more takeoffs and then just call it a day i will not be running 
speed endurance this morning because it is sprinkling and just disgusting out and it's supposed to break this afternoon so I'll come back at 4.30 so so two more takeoffs um, yeah just focusing on like a good swing on that leg good switch uh, it wasn't supposed to rain today this is brutal so um, decided just to do one take off that you just saw and now I'm just gonna do just some protrons to finish off the day I feel a little bit warmer now like warmed up now than I did before so that's why we put them at the end so I'm just gonna do a couple run throughs and then get in my car and go home Okay, it's starting to really come down. Wow, it's starting to really start to rain. So I'm gonna put the camera away. Just gonna finish off these runs. And then you'll see me in like two seconds. And we are done. So only did two approach runs. It's just so cold out. Like, it's just too cold. So I'm gonna head home, have some lunch, and then gonna come back for four. Uh, to do my speed endurance. So the speed endurance is uh, 500 coming through 456 seconds. In context, my PB for the four is like 51. So it's like quick. And then um, 10 minutes rest and then a, I think like a 200 or something like that. I'll double check that. But if you don't hear any different, then it's a 200. So now let's just, uh, fast forward to when I get back and uh, yeah get the speed endurance going and we are back now um, yeah it's been like four or five hours uh, uh, three hours and just gonna start my warm-up and so yeah it's a 500 and then a 300 10 minutes rest like full recovery so hopefully it's good um, it got like a couple degrees warmer than what it was this morning, so. But I still brought a warmer jacket. So yeah, just gonna start my warm up and then do it as best I can. All right, just doing uh, doing my last couple strides and then I'm gonna throw on some spikes and do some strides and spikes and then I should be good to go. Okay, final confirmation, uh, it is a 500 coming through 400 at 56 seconds and then uh, 10 minutes rest and then a 300 and coming through the 300 in 24 seconds so they're both very quick so it's good that I have 10 minutes because I'm gonna need it God, that ranks on like one of the hardest workouts I've done. I grossly underestimated how 
much. That was gonna suck. Oh, that was hard. Um, Vicky's is walking down here right now so I can get the times, but I know I came through the 455, 56, so perfect. And then coming through the 200 on the second one felt pretty quick, so I'm just gonna ask her what the times are, talk to her, and then I'll give you guys an update. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, so I got the times. It was a 72 for the 500, so yeah, 112. Uh, which felt pretty good into a big headwind going down like the back straight and then the 300 was in 40.3 so I only had 10 minutes rest so again felt pretty good like you guys can already tell from my 400 PB that I'm not the greatest like speed endurance runner but working on it slowly but yeah good day of uh, training so that was it for today I hope you guys had a good one. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, keep in touch. Maybe hit that little bell to let you guys know when we come out with new vlogs. And other than that, hope you guys have a good night. Bye.